High school grads who want to go to college often feel held back because they can't afford it. A little later this morning, the mayor, along with local school officials, are making a major announcement this morning, and hey, we have it for you here first. Constance Carroll is with the San Diego Community College District. She's the chancellor, and she is here along with the San Diego Unified District Superintendent, Cindy Martin. First of all, ladies, good morning, and thank good you for morning. joining me. Good morning. Well, uh, Constance, I'm going to let you sort of tell everybody what's happening here because this is a groundbreaking program yes, is. that is really benefit, uh, benefiting the high schoolers in our community. Yes, this program is called San Diego Promise, and the Promise programs around the country are part of a movement that would make uh, community colleges free of tuition for deserving students. And by deserving, it means students who are willing to make a full-time commitment, that's 12 units uh, in the community college, and also students who are going to make the minimum grade point average of 2.0. Free meaning no tuition? No tuition. They still pay for books and other, I guess it would be. No, they students. also receive funding for their books. Wow. Yeah, so this is, this is a huge effort to make sure that students have maximum access uh, to uh, community college education. We started small with a pilot program of uh, 200 students uh, in this, that was in 2016. Then we expanded the program last year to 600 students. And now with um, a state income uh, through uh, Assembly Bill 19, we're going to expand it this coming fall to approximately 3,000 students. Wow. So any high school graduate or anyone who's graduated from high school within a year who's willing to make a full-time who's serious about education and uh, who wants to really uh, get a, a leg up in life is welcome to come free of charge from any high school um, in, uh, in San Diego. Any socioeconomic background as well? Any socioeconomic background. This is a level playing field. It's open for everyone. Um, we're concerned because um, uh, most new jobs require some level sure. of college now uh, for computer backgrounds and, and other types of considerations. And so uh, we want to make sure that we have maximum accessibility to high school. And, and this Promise program gives students a, exactly that. Well, thank you for doing mm -hmm. what you're doing right here in our community. This is going to make a huge, huge yes. difference. And mm -hmm. Cindy, let's bring in you uh, onto this conversation as well because talk about the feedback that you get from some of your high school seniors who maybe otherwise just could not afford to, to go to school. We're seeing such a high success rate with this program thanks to the leadership of Dr. Carroll really bringing this vision to life saying to our students we're going to make you a promise and we're going to keep it and you can go to college for free and what we're hearing is like you said the books and there's also counseling support services mm -hmm. guidance services so when our students transition from high school to college kids who thought they weren't even going to go to college they're going and they're getting support and what we're hearing is these students are doing better. Students in the Promise program, for example, are get, we had 20% of the students had 4.0 GPA and then we had students were looking at disaggregating the data, African American students in the Promise program versus not in the Promise program had a full point grade point average one point higher wow. than the other non-Promise students. So it's not just here's free college, it's here's support. You're going to be successful in school. The dream is possible. The college going dream is possible. And then they leave the college system, the community college system, and they're employable right here in San Diego. A lot of people might be wondering, Constance, who pays for this? The Californians pay among the highest taxes in the nation. Is this a taxpayer funded program? Absolutely not. Uh, we started with 200 students, and our community college endowment paid for that. Uh, then we moved to the second level, 600 students, and we have donors in the community, very generous people, uh, who provided funding for that. People like um, uh, Ron and Alexis Fowler from the Padres, Peter Seidler also from the Padres, Roger Fry, Ann Dines, a lot of people in the community who just believe that in order for students to reach the middle class, they need a college uh, education. And now we are today kicking off a major fundraiser uh, to to fund the expansion to 3,000 students. Um, uh, we'll have a gala in the fall and then, um, as I said, a major fundraising campaign. And we are just thrilled because the headliner for our gala is one of our alums. Uh, Annette Benning. Actress the, Annette the, Benning. The, absolutely. Fantastic. She is, she, is, uh, she is all in for this program. She's a donor already uh, and wants to help us uh, uh, 
uh, raise funding. Our Thank mayor, Kevin Faulkner, co-chairs the effort, so uh, we're off and running, and uh, so we, we are open this fall for, for any high school student or anyone who's graduated from high school within a year. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you both for what you're doing to make this program possible. Uh, Constance Carroll, District Chancellor, and also a District Superintendent for the San Diego Unified School District, Cindy Martin. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, thank More you. to come from that news conference at, uh, is it 10 o'clock this morning? 10.30. 10.30 this morning. All right, Michelle, we'll get back to you. This Where was it when we were in school? Right. That would have been nice. <laughs> All right, Heather, thank you. Thousands of